Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. This tutorial covers e filing the W 2 forms using e file direct. The IRS recently released final regulations amending the filing rules for W 2 and 1099 returns and other documents. See IRS e file regulations for more information. The e file threshold has officially been lowered from 250 to 10 forms in tax year 2023 to be filed in 2024. This regulation includes the total for all aggregated forms. This creates a file using the W-2 data that has been entered. Once the file is created, it is the user's responsibility to upload the file using the SSA's business services online. A user ID is required from the SSA prior to using eFile Direct. Review business services online for additional information. How to get a user ID In order to use the SSA's business services online to upload the W-2 information, BSO users will need a Social Security online account. You can use your personal My Social Security account that was created before September 18, 2021, or an existing login.gov or ID me credential. If you do not have a Social Security online account or a login.gov or ID me credential, you will need to create one from the Social Security sign-in page. This is a new requirement to access BSO employer services. After you have the account created, the SSA provides a tutorial on the business services online registration process. Please review the tutorial for more information. A user ID is required to upload the file to the Social Security Administration. After you register to use business services online, the Social Security Administration will mail an activation code to complete the process. This extra layer of security is to ensure your information is safe and secure. The activation code is mailed to the employer whose employer identification number you are using, at the employer's business address registered with the IRS. Your employer will usually receive it within two weeks. Wages cannot be reported using business services online until the activation code has been entered to complete the registration process. Once the credentialing and authentication process has been completed, current business services online user ID will be associated with the new credential. Please allow 45 days for processing. It is recommended that you apply for the user ID by November 1st. To begin creating the W-2 file, the pair, ABC Payroll, has been created. The W-2 form data has been entered. And you have a user ID from the Social Security Administration. This is the main menu. To continue, select eFiler. This is the eFiler menu. Select eFile Direct. Now, click OK. The eFile Direct options include Type of Form and Taxing Authorities. Click the drop down arrow in the Type of Form section and select W-2. The taxing authority for the W-2 forms is either federal or any state, including the District of Columbia. For this tutorial we are selecting federal. Click OK to continue. This is the transmitter screen. The data on this screen, refers to the person that is submitting the file to the SSA through their business services online. Prior to using eFile Direct, you must get a user ID from the SSA. In most cases, the information through, and including the prepare code, should be entered, with the exception of foreign country. That field is entered only if the country is not USA. The resubmit WFID is only entered when resubmitting a file. The SSA will assign the WFID. Only enter the optional transfer agent information if, it pertains to the transmitter. Click OK to continue. Next check the pairs that are to be included in the e-file. Multiple pairs can be selected. For the tutorial, select ABC Payroll. Once all pairs are selected, click OK to continue. The global questions are very specific questions about W-2 e-filing. Select 
Edit Special Payer Info for Electronic Filing. Then select a default kind of payer. If there are multiple pairs, you will be able to select a different code for individual pairs. Click OK. This prompt will display for each pair that has been selected. If multiple pairs were selected, answer the prompt for each one. Make sure to select Skip if the pair does not have W2 data. If there is no data exists the process will abort. Click Process. This is the global question screen, if needed fill out the information. It will appear for each pair that is to be included in the file. Click OK. At this point, the pairs and forms are being processed for any errors or warnings. If there are any errors, they must be corrected or the file will not be created. If you add other pairs to process, select Process More Pairs. This will take you back to the Select Pair screen, where you can select other pairs to include in the file. To continue, select Continue. Click OK. Now the file needs to be saved. The default location is the 1099 ETC program directory. The default file name is efw2.txt. The file name can be changed but the extension must be txt. The location can be changed. If changed, note the new information. Click Save. If there are warnings or errors, please view or print the activity output. This report will list the warnings, errors, and their record numbers, so that the issues can be corrected. VTML speed view or print the transmittal report for the file location and name which is needed when uploading. Select Continue, and click Quit. At this point, the file is created and saved. If needed, you can view or print the SSA's upload instructions for the BSO system. If you are ready to upload the file, select Go to the SSA's BSO system and click OK. The file name and location can be copied to the clipboard. This will paste the information when browsing to the file location during the upload process. For the tutorial, select Now. This is the home page of the SSA's BSO system. Remember that it is your responsibility to upload the file. Follow the SSA's instructions to upload the file. For further questions, please review the frequently asked questions on our website. Technical support can be reached by email, fax or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 Etc. program. Have a great day.